Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from CyberLab and in this video we're gonna show how you can install Astian CP. And this Astian CP it's used mainly for web host. It means that you can manage your websites or either have different users. So in this way you can manage different users, different websites, DNS, mail server, database, Chrome and backups. Also, as a differential for these two compared for Cyber Panel, for example, this will work really well with ARM systems. So if you have a VPS for Oracle Cloud working or running as an ARM system, or if you have a Raspberry Pi, this system will work well and will not create so much trouble for you compared for Cyber Panel that will not run at all in ARM. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, I'm gonna show in this video. But first of all, don't forget to leave a like, consider to subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed yet, then let's understand a little bit more about it. So before we start to install anything, we need to understand what system that we have. In our case, this installation will work in a VPS in Oracle Cloud. This VPS is specifically, it's a A1 Flex where work with the ARM system. This reason that I choose to install Astian. If I try to install CyberPanel, this installation not work because CyberPanel is not compatible for this system. So in this way, we're gonna use an instance using the IP address 141.147.11.999. The image that we're gonna install will be this one that will be Ashton CP, Ashton CP, and here all the information that you need to know about this specific image. If I go a little bit down, here's the panel exactly the same that I showed in the previous picture, where you can manage your users, you can manage your website, DNS, mails, database, Chrome, and backup. Only remember, in this video, I will show how you can install this Ashton and how you can do the basic configuration, but I will not explain in specific how you can create all the users, manage it, websites, how you can add the DNS in your uh, website host, or how you can add the, your DNS to your DNS providers, email server, how to configure it, but I will get only the base, and the next video will go a little bit more advanced and try to explain a little bit more about it. So if I come back here, they explain a little bit more about uh, lightweight, powerful control website. And here they will give what features that you have. So you can have a patch, you can have a PHP, DNS that you can configure, it, email server using the POP, EMAP, and SMTP. You also have antivirus, anti-spam, and webmail, so you can use Outlook if you want, or you can use your webmail and you can access it. You can have a different database as MariaDB, MySQL. You can have all your certification right there using Let's Encrypt. And you can have some firewalls to protect against of brute force as fail to ban, IP database, IP sets, and other options. As a minimal requirement, you need to have Debian version 11 or 10 or you need to have Ubuntu revision 22.04 LS or the LSTS. And then here they will start to explain how we can do the installation. Before we do this installation, we need to log in to our server using PuTTY. So now we need to open PuTTY and use the IP address for our instance to access our server or our VPS and then we can start to do the installation. So let's do it. First time that you try to access your instance, they will ask your key, so I'll put accept, and that they will import the key and here all the information. So here it's my machine. As the website say, you need to use your root or super user to be able to configure everything. So let's do it in the first place. Let's put sudo so, and now I have the user or I have the root access. Let's clear this page. And now, first thing, before any installation, I suggest you to update your system. So we'll put apt get update, 
and you're gonna run it because I just create this machine or this virtual machine should be really fast. So let's wait until this finish it. Once that they finish, now we can clear our page. Now we can use apt get upgrade, put enter, and that they will upgrade all my system. I'll put yes because I really want to upgrade it. And once that they finish, we can go for the next stage. Once that your system has been upgraded, now we can clear this page. And what I suggest you is to do cd slash the MT. Now I suggest you to enter in MMT because in this way you can have all your install configuration in the same place and it will make it easy for you. So let's come here. They say that you need to log in as a root. The next stage you need to download all the configuration. So we're going to do it. As you download, if you put lsa, you have this extra install.sh where we'll have the configuration. If I come here, they'll ask you to download your certification pack. Normally they write come install, but it's better only to be sure. So we're gonna do here and put enter. And nothing has been installed because it was already installed. So we'll clear this page and here I will come back and run this application. One thing that you're gonna see, if I only come here and run it, they will not work because they will say that I have a conflict with the admin user. What suggests you to do is to come here, bash, install and only add slash slash force and I put enter. Now they will check all the information, all the dependents and once they appear this page, you can choose what kind of uh, installation that you want to have. I suggest you to have uh, install all this application because you not use so much more space, but you guarantee to have all the options that you want or all the apps. If you don't want to install everything, they will save a little bit space, but they will not have all these options. So what I suggest you put yes and put enter. So now you need to put your email address. I suggest you put a, a valid email address because if you forget your admin user, you want to receive this email as a return or forget password. If you don't add it, you're not going to receive this email and potentially you can lose all your information or don't have access for the admin. So I'll put here and now will be the website that you need to add to configure it. So I don't suggest to use your official or your top website, but a subdomain in order to be able to access your panel. So we'll put panel at sauberlab.com and in this way if I want to access my panel in the future I will use panel.sauberlab.com you don't need to use exactly the same name I only use because it's easy for me I will put enter and now they will start all the installation procedure remember this installation procedure will take a little bit longer because they will do all the installation depending on how much cores and how much run memory that you define, they can take more or less, but typically they will take between 10 to 15 minutes to install. So let's wait to finish all this installation. So once that appear this page, it means that the installation has been completed, but please don't press anything until you, you copy all this information. Otherwise you're gonna lose this admin and password. So if I come here, copy this information and paste in the notepad, at least I'm sure that uh, once that put enter, I will be able to log in and I have my user and password. In the future, once that you configure it, all your server, you can recover it, but at this stage, don't forget to copy this initial information. So we'll come here and now I put enter and my system will be reboot. Now I can close it and all information that I need to have is those. What it means, once that you configure your panel and configure properly the DNS, you can access using your panel at cyberlab.com. You can use port 8083 or you can configure it a SSL configuration so you're not gonna need it. But in the first time, you're gonna need to access using this IP address because you didn't configure any SSL certification or anything else. So now I will open 
this IP address and access initially my server. First time that you try to access, they will say that uh, this IP address is not safe, so you need to put advance and put proceed. This because you didn't create a certif SSL certification for this S chan control panel, this risk that appeared. So now if I come here, my admin, and he will be my password, so let's call password, come here and admin and put enter. Now I type my password and put login. You can see that here show forget password. If you click here, they will not send any recover because you didn't configure your email address to be able to send it. So first you need to configure it, later you can recover it. First thing that we need to do, we need to come here and put add users. Once that you put add users, we're gonna add a new user, it will be Sauberlab. My name Sauberlab. Here I have my system and my default. If I come here in packagings, I know how many information that I have. If I come here default, I can have limited website, web analysis, DNS, and other things. If a system will be only one permit for each one. You can have different packages. So if you want to limitate some users to have maximum two, three host or three websites, you can define here. If you want to have limited emails, you can have here. Let's go back and let's access my cyber lab. Here in my cyber lab, I can create my first web domain. So I click here and I will create as a Asha cyber lab only for an example. Here will be my IP address and I can put create an NS and enable email for this domain and put save. They will take a few seconds until they configure it initially this. Once that they finish, if I come here, I can have my Ashton Cyber Lab. If I come here and put enable SSL and put let's encrypt, they will create my let's encrypt or my SSL certification. Because I didn't configure it any DNS, if I click here in save, they will have an issue and will not work. If I put click insta quick install, I can have a different application that I can install as a NacoWeek, Dupal, Flarum, and other applications that you can install in order to create your website. One thing that's really interesting is that you have web, web browser right? pre install and you can run it. Also, you have Nextcloud. If I come here my DNS, to configure my DNS, I will need to configure all of those. These ones will be the main ones that will configure and will direct for this web server. This will be the DNS and the rest of the configuration, basically all those, will be related from your email address. And if you look here, this will be mail.astionsauberlab.com. If I come here in my mail, I can create new users, so I can come here and add a user, add a mail domain, and continue on. So in this way, you can start to do your configuration. So in this video, we're gonna stop in this stage, and that in the next video, we go a little bit more advanced to explain a little bit more how to do the configuration, how you can configure your DNS, and the rest of the information. So if you like this video and think that was interesting, please don't forget to leave your like, Consider subscribe for the channel if you're not yet. And see you next time. Bye.